showed the examples that came with the Mixed Reality Toolkit for eye tracking. I showed one before with the other video. I was showing the selection one where you point at something and say explode. Um, the navigation one is kind of boring. It's, you just kind of move a map. So look at an area to zoom into it and say zoom in. So I'm going to try to zoom in on the lake thing over there. Zoom in. Zoom in. Z zoom in. It works pretty well. I'm trying to zoom in onto that lake. Zoom in. Yeah, so it's not as boring as I expected. I'm going to try to zoom in on whatever that says. Hagler Lake or something. I can't really read that from here. Zoom in. Zoom in. I guess I can't zoom in anymore. Zoom out. Oh, I just gave up. Zoom out. Zoom out. That took long enough. Anyway, um, when you look around, it moves the map. So I'm looking at the right of the map right now. Um, the problem with this visualization is you can't really see what I'm seeing. If you look at the size of the globe, it rotates. I'm looking at the left side right now. Now I'm looking right in the middle of the globe at Brazil. Looking at the left of the globe right now. I can't really see anything with all the clouds. But, I mean, it works fine. I'm looking at the right right now. If I look at the thing, I could say, come to me. Come to me. Great. <laughs> Let's move on. Um, I'm going to go to positioning. So the positioning one's pretty cool because it's 3D. So I can say, put this. Put this. I think the problem is the voice commands are terrible. Um, so I'm, I can look around and see where I want to put it. So I want to put it on this blue thing over here. Over here. Took long enough. I wanted to get that blue block. Put this. Put this. I'll put it on the pink one. Because I'm so good at sorting colors. Uh, I want to put it at the back of the pink panel. So, hmm. Right now it's not going where I want it to. I want to put it way back there. I had to move my head up to actually do that. Over here. I'm going to move the yellow one to the bottom corner. Put this. Put this. Over here. That worked better. So that's what this demo is about. Um, I don't know what that slider is for. Look at the slider, then pinch the finger together to move the slider. Okay, that kind of defeats the purpose of eye tracking, doesn't it? Let's move to the visualizer. I don't know how much recording time I have left. So this heat map shows you where you're looking. So right now I'm looking at where that red dot is. I'm looking at the M and MRTK. So it's a little bit inaccurate. I'm looking at that top right symbol. My eyes are all the way open right now. So I don't know why the inaccuracy is being caused. Bottom right symbol. It seems to make it a little bit south of where I'm actually looking right now. I'm looking at that leftmost symbol in the middle. That one's pretty accurate. I'm looking at the HoloLens inside of that logo. I'm looking at the very top left corner. I'm looking at the bottom left corner. I'm looking at the bottom most logo. My eyes are getting dry. Uh, I'm looking at the very top logo. Uh, what else? This thing, I guess, is showing you different points of interest. So if I look at the top right, it's a little bit south of where. Okay, I don't know what that's doing. It doesn't seem to be doing 